All right, you've gotten everything out of the box. Stop one oh one. Okay. Got everything out of the box. Stainless steel components. All stainless steel. Okay. Uh, it comes weighs about 20 pounds. Just like this. This is right. how the pump comes. You take the pump out of the box. It's going to look just like this. It's the. This is a centrifugal one, which has got a, a bigger head up here. Uh -huh. The helical rotor, which is the ones that we're right. talking about, are right. longer. Right. But okay. look, other than that, it's pretty much the same. That's fine. Okay. Fine. You've got spots up here for for uh, a safety rope. Okay. So we are going for a deep well now. We, we must have longer, longer. You're gonna lay the for what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the pump down okay. on the ground. Okay. Connect more wire. You're gonna connect your wire. Okay. All right. So Long you're gonna wire. connect, you connect your, your drop drop cable wire to your pump. You've got a splice kit which we supply you with. You heat that up and it makes a nice tight watertight seal. Okay. That's part of what we supply you. with. All right. So you've made your connection there at the pump. Right. You've made your you've got your you're gonna take your you pull your existing well out, you know, you make your connection here with your uh, pipe uh, for pumping the water. We recommend taking a safety rope also, polypropylene, because it doesn't break down in water, not nylon. Um, so... The pipe can go any other pipe. Yep, yep, we already have a pipe there now, so we're just going to be a matter of making sure this has got a, a two-inch outtake on it. Just make sure that the outtake matches up with the other connecting pipe you've got. You make that connection. We recommend laying it all down and about every six feet putting a little twisty tie, a little, just to, to tie it all together. Safety rope, drop cable, and then your pipe. Wrap it all, you know, tie it off every six feet with a polypropylene twisty tie, put it down in the hole. Because when you go to pull this out later on down the road, right. it's going to be heavy. So it's helps to do all that, put it all together. Um, the pump has a dry run switch on the top here, right here. As long as that's in the water, so now you've got the pump down in the well, right? So as long as it's yeah, hanging above the water, this one is in the water, it's your pump. That's right. If this one is in the water, it's your pump. Because that's right. it means that the, the well is dry. Right. The water level has dropped down dry, below. Dropped down. It. Yep. Good. Yep. So it's not going to let the water get down to the top of the pump. The water drops past here, it turns it off. It's not going to let it get all the way down here. Good. So, all right, you've dropped your pump in.
now it's not hooked up to anything. It's just it's just a cable that you you got. You went out and bought. It. Uh, you can use whichever you want. This is number eight, uh, number sixteen or eighteen. Uh, fourteen. This is number fourteen wire. That uh, you'll need to get this wire either over there or somewhere. Uh, yeah. Uh, doesn't matter how you wire this up as long as you do the ground. Wire correct. Of course, with this here, you've made your connections. You've, you've already, you know, you've, you've used your splice, you know, your splice kit. You've heated it up so it's a nice, tight, watertight uh -huh. seal for okay. your connection there. Right. Okay, one. Look, switch is submerged. That looks pretty good. Now. All right. That's now. Good boy. Now we want to go ahead and take this. You got your CU200, your CU200 control box. Nice little illustrated booklet here. Okay. Which shows you had a bit of wire it up. Oh, okay. Okay, so you uh, you don't want to have it in the sun, you want to have it mounted underneath the solar panels. So you're back underneath the solar panels. Underneath, okay. Underneath. You're okay. going to attach it right to the racking. Okay. Ah, okay. It bolts right on this piece right here. It can bolt right to the racking. Okay. Um, then, you, then you're basically going to, once you, once you mount it on there, you want to open up the cover. 